Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. Having already clinched at least a tie of the PSAC regular season championship, the Gannon wrestling team was going for the outright title tonight. What a fantastic season they've had. The mm -hmm. nationally ranked Golden Knights were home to number 13 Pitt Johnstown this evening, also going for their ninth straight win on the year. And to the newly named Highmark Events Center, we go 10 seniors honored prior to tonight's duel for Gannon and Don Henry's club. Starting at 125 pounds, this was a close one here. Gannon's Jacob Dunlop taking on Matt Siska from Pitt Johnstown and Dunlop in the late stages of his match. We're going to close in on the first points of the match, getting the crowd going as well as he takes it by a 3-1 decision over Siska from UPJ. The Golden Knights take the first bout to go up 3-0 in this one. Move ahead to 141 pounds, tied 3-3. Gannon's Austin Hertel with a big rally in the final seconds of the third period, forcing overtime with a two-point takedown and two more points on a near fall. But it's a 7-5 win by sudden victory in the extra period for Caleb Morris as Gannon would fall in strict six straight bouts following 125. Gannon nearly pulling it off at home, but they fall 18-12 and will now share the PSAC crown with the winner of tomorrow's matchup between those very same Mountain Cats and Mercyhurst. And speaking of which, let's head to the Mercyhurst Athletic Center where number 14 Mercyhurst entertained number 9 Finley will pick up the duel. At 133 pounds, and for the Lakers, it was Eric Bardos taking on Gavin Ritter. And Bardos dominated the match in the third period alone, and he would win by major decision 9-1. to one. Not to mention knowing where the camera was. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> then at 141 pounds, Alexis Soriano facing Branson Proudlock. With the match tied at 1 in the third, Proudlock is whistled for an illegal move, giving Soriano a one-point lead. He would eventually hold on for that 2-1 to one victory at 149 pounds. The Lakers' Matt Zacker battling Chase Moore. This one was decided in sudden victory, and Zacker coming up with the clutch moves late. And Mercier's goes on to win all but one match. They defeat Finley 39-2. to two. The Lakers, as mentioned, will host UPJ on Saturday afternoon, beginning at 1 p.m. Just up the walkway at the Mercier Dice Center, men's hockey as the Lakers hosting RIT for a two-game weekend series. No score until the second period of play. Mercier on the power play. They put a shot on net. They get the rebound. Kane Townen wants the puck, and he knows what to do with it. Buries it to the back of the cage. Lakers striking on the power play. They led one to nothing, and that was more than enough for their goaltender at the other end of the ice. Kyle McClellan was simply brilliant between the pipes. There he denies the tying goal from being scored on the breakaway. McClellan stopping all 34 shots that he faced. It's Mercyhurst shutting out RIT, the final one to nothing. Same two teams will be back at it again on Saturday night. Earlier in the afternoon, could the Mercyhurst ladies also get a win? Looking to take down Syracuse at the Mick in conference play. No score in the first period, about five minutes in. It's a Syracuse giveaway down beneath the goal line there. Sarah Boucher finds the back of the net on the assist from Lily Perot. one nothing Mercyhurst. Still in the first. Less than three minutes later, Boucher does it again in front of the net, and the Lakers led 3 to nothing after one. She had two of those goals. Now 4 nothing in the second. More from Mercyhurst. In fact, it's more from Boucher. Third goal of the game, and the hat trick makes it 5 nothing for the home team. 6 nothing start of the third period. Perot after couple of assists there, gets the goal as well, and she had two goals, two assists, four points. Total Mercier gets the win, nine to nothing, and a nice room preserves a shutout victory with 27 saves and goal as the Lakers pick up two big points to start the weekend series. It was a great win. We did a lot of things right. You know, it was uh, one of those odd games, you know, things went our way start to finish, and uh, we worked really hard for that. But, you know, it counts as one win, so tomorrow's a new day. You know, we're really happy with everything we did. We knew this weekend was a huge one for us, and we have to follow it up tomorrow. And we played a game that we knew we had to play, and we played it hard. I think we had a good game. We worked hard. We knew how important this game was to us. Obviously, we want to control our own destiny, and this was a big weekend for us. You know, that always feels great, but it's all about winning, and I'm glad we executed our systems and uh, worked hard today.